An important phase in the search for a COVID-19 treatment is happening right here in the Southland. Ventura County Lab is conducting clinical trials on medicine that could attack the virus head on, we're told. CBS 2's Rachel Kim talked to the head of the company that could make history. It's very much um, looking very promising. Nicholas Fossil is the CEO of FOMAT Medical Research in Oxnard. He's talking about the two COVID-19 clinical trials they just started on an antibody cocktail called REGN-CoV2. Fossil says the medicine is getting a lot of attention nationally as a way to possibly treat and even prevent the infection. It gives your body the tools to fight it off on its own, in a way. Beginning Thursday, people who are interested in participating in the trials can get free testing at this site across across the Oxnard Main Library. You get your results within an hour. If you test positive, you can participate in the trial for treatment. This medication is for early onset. You are randomized into one of three arms. It's a combination therapy that you will be in high dose, low dose, or placebo. It's a one treatment day, so you'll get treated that same day. And for the next 35 days, you'll be followed up with about 15 times. If you test negative, you may qualify for the second study. Fossil says this one is designed for healthy people who are at high risk. They'll be given the medicine and will be monitored for seven months to see if infection is prevented. This one depends on if you are in a household with somebody that has COVID. So what's important with vaccines and preventative trials in general is that you have high exposure to the disease. Fossil says the funding for the trials comes from the federal government's Operation Warp Speed project. Its goal is to deliver safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines by January 2021. The vaccine's around the corner, the treatment's around the corner, and um, we do need the part of every single person here to make sure that this thing gets through. Reporting in Oxnard, Rachel Kim, CBS2 News.